If you know how to trade this ICT concept we're going to talk about today, it is going to help you so much when you're trading. I think all of us know the simple free candlestick pattern, which is called a fair value gap. From the low of this week down to the high of this week. And if you don't know what a fair value gap is, it's completely fine. I've made a video about it, so go check that out. But do you know what a immediate rebalance is? As when it comes to ICT concepts, People don't really talk about it. But in this video, I will talk about the immediate rebalance in a way I hope everyone can understand what it is and also talk about how powerful it really is. Now, how to identify a immediate rebalance is actually really simple. So when we have a normal fair valley gap, we see the wicks are not overlapping the body. And up here, we have an example of a immediate rebalance. So we see at this candle close, Price had the opportunity to create a fair valley gap, as we see we had this wick, then down to here. So price had the opportunity to not wick up, touching the low of that wick, and then move lower. It could just move lower. So when price did make that wick going up, it means that price has not created a fair valley gap, and then that also means there should be no reason for price returning to this area. And when price creates a media rebalance and closes at the third candle, we could be anticipating price expanding lower. As we can see, price did that indeed. Just a quick sample on how a bullish media rebalance looks like. We can see that price, when this candle closed at 3 a.m., had the opportunity to create a fair value gap, as we see up here. But then instead, price wicked down to the high of that wick and even lower. And that's where we can use our Fibonacci tool and see that price just reached down to the tick at the consequent encouragement of the other wick. And then after that, what do we see? We see that price expanded higher. To get the understanding on how powerful this ICT concept really is, we just have to take a quick look on the lower time frame. So here we can see that price just entered the AM session at 8.33. Now, price also made a close above or below a singular IFEG, and we have some decent draw liquidity down here. So this could be a nice potential trade entry, right? Where we would enter at the close, exit the trade when price made a close above the IFEG, and then target our draw on liquidity. A decent 1.4 risk reward ratio, or we could just target 2 risk reward ratio. Now let's just play price through and see what happens. <clears throat> and here, what do we see? We see we had the opportunity to create a fair value gap, but price chose instead to wick up into the low of this wick and then closed lower. Now, price creating an immediate rebalance and being so close to a draw on liquidity, we could be anticipating price, as we talked about before, to expand lower, right? So now, there is a lot more confirmation to this trade entry. So let's see what happens. And we do see price expands lower. So when we see this type of immediate rebalance happen right after a trade entry, then we could be anticipating our draw on liquidity to be reached. So a media rebalance is a kind of confirmation tool. And Another way we can use a media rebalance when it fails, that's what we're going to talk about in the next example. If we just zoom out and go up here on the higher time frame again, which is the five minute time frame, we can actually see that this is the example we talked just about before. <clears throat> now here, we do see price made a immediate rebalance. So we could be anticipating price expanding higher, right? But we see price do not expand higher. It creates a downclose candle. And when price creates this downclose candle, right after we created a media rebalance, what do we guys think we could be anticipating? We could be anticipating lower prices as it disrespected a bullish signature. So instead of expanded higher, price respected this fair value gap, almost reached the consequent encouragement, and then made a downclose candle instead of expanding higher. And right after that, price again wicked higher, reaching this immediate rebalance. And what could be anticipated now? Price expanding lower. 
and we do see price expands lower. So we can essentially use a failed media rebalance to confirmation. And then if we get a successful media rebalance to the downside, now the bias really becomes clear. Another way we can use a media rebalance, we just have to go up here on the higher time frame. So on the hourly time frame, we can see price made a close above this IFVG. And then price made a retracement into this IFVG. But price also made a retracement into the high of this wick, which means price created a media rebalance. And that also means we could be anticipating price to expand higher until price reaches an important level and then can reverse from there. Now let's drop down into the lower time frame and see what happens within this wick. Down here on the lower time frame, we can see that price made a return into that IFVG. And then at 6 a.m., we got a confirmation that price made the immediate rebalance. Now, let's just take a quick look at what happened within here. So we saw price made fast sell side delivery into here and then fast buy side delivery. And within the sell side delivery, price created a immediate rebalance. And we can see that that immediate rebalance immediately after got disrespected. Then we can also see the price rain sell side liquidity over here to the left. After that, price reached higher, created a change in state of delivery, then it reached down into the change in state of delivery, respected it, and after that, we saw the price created a IFVG. And we could actually use this IFVG as a trade entry as we got confirmation both on the lower time frame by the change in state of delivery, failed the media rebounds, also swept sell side liquidity, and the price is starting to respect the one hour IFVG and is also currently starting to expand away from that immediate rebounds. So then we could take a trade entry when price closes above this IFVG. Then we're going to exit the trade entry when price closes below the IFVG and then target buy side liquidity. But we do see that doesn't really make a great risk-reward ratio. So in that case, we could target to risk-reward. And we do see price managed to reach that level. Another way we can use a media rebalance is for trade entries. Now here we can see the price swept sell-side liquidity. And going into that sweep on liquidity, we have a singular FVG, which could be used as an IVG if price wants to react from the sweep on liquidity. And here we do see price makes a close above that IFVG. And now we could be anticipating price to make a retracement. And here price do make a retracement into the IFVG and also reaches the high of the wick, which is the low of the IFVG. And this creates a immediate rebounds. Now, the reason this is so great when we're trading IFGs is because it gives us confirmation that price now should just expand higher. So if we get a down close candle, that means price don't want to expand higher. Now let's see what happens. And right here, we can see price reaches down to the CE at the tick, the comes with encouragement, and it's now starting to expand higher. And here again, Price created a media rebalance. So now there should be no reason for price moving lower. And here, price sweep this buy side liquidity. So we can see how we can use the media rebalance as extra confirmation when taking trade entries, as we should see price expanding higher.